Hey guys, this is Will at Texas Beard and Blade. Uh, this is my first uh, video for you guys. I'm going to be posting on my YouTube channel. I'm going to go over pretty much all of the EDC gear that I have and that I have uh, used um, over 2019. And mainly, I'm going to quickly go over stuff, but some of the stuff that I like most, I will. Uh, I'm going to talk about a little bit. Um, most of this stuff I purchased from Blade HQ, um, Mighty Hanks, as well as the Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Um, so a big shout out to those guys. If you need a knife retailer, EDC retailer, um, they've got some really awesome stuff. And I'll talk about some other stuff. It's not exclusive to them. They're the only ones that got stickers, though. So uh, send me your stickers and you guys who... Uh, want me to talk more about that stuff but uh let's go ahead and dive and get started we'll start with this guy um this is the blade hq knife roll um probably my favorite way to store these knives they have a really great clear section and they have this little piece i don't even know what this is nylon or canvas something here so that um the, your clips don't jack up the uh, the plastic here, so it's actually a really cool feature. Um, but that's probably my favorite knife roll out there. I really want one of their jumbo knife rolls. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to snag one in time. Um, but I'm basically gonna go, I think, or try to go largest to smallest with knives. So let's jump into them. This is technically, I guess you could call it a knife. It is a little bitty, um, you see that it's just a little bitty uh razor blade um it's this little brass housing I used to carry it on my keychain i still do sometimes uh, it's got a few different locking spots this is just some random amazon brand um, if you wanted details i could look that up and put it in the comments later but i think it was like seven dollars super cheap um, next thing, um, I do carry this every single day is of course, uh, the Gerber, uh, shard or dime. I'm sorry, not the shard. Um, the Gerber dime, really fantastic, uh, cheap, um, everyday carry multi-tool. I do have a Leatherman. It's been gone or in hiding at least for over a month now. I have no idea where it is. Um, but, oh, and also one thing about my collection you're going to notice, um, I'm kind of a cheap sucker. Uh, don't have a lot of stuff that's super expensive. Um, I do like cool designs. Um, you'll see that's why I do have a lot of CRKT stuff. I like the designs, even though, you know, they don't have super great quality blade steel. Um, but needless to say, I'd, I digress, let's uh, continue. This is, I believe this is called the Gerber Keynote. Um, this little bitty guy has a very, very, I guess you'd call it a chubby blade. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it is like almost like a chisel. Um, but <clears throat> I've been carrying it off and on a little bit in my watch pocket. Uh, it's pretty cool if you need to open something, especially in a place like where I work. Um, I work in a homeless shelter, and uh, I actually can't really carry like a like a big knife. Um, not just because I, I shouldn't, but because um, I don't want to scare people. <laughs> um, and so I'm sure some of you guys can relate to that. This is a really good option. If you just need to like be able to open like paper boxes or just envelopes, things like that. I have a few others here that would be that would be good for that. But that's like definitely a knife that someone, if you open it up in front of somebody, they're not gonna freak out. Um, next is the Boker. I believe this is called the Nano. Um, really cool little knife from Boker. Um, if you give it a little bit of wrist action, you can actually flip this guy open i think let's see if i can do it oh yeah got it um 
really cool little knife. Also, um, on the when I post this uh, on YouTube, I will try and um, list off everything that I'm showing very quickly. Uh, so those of you who are interested in maybe looking at some of these things, um, you'll have the name and the model, stuff like that. Next is the um, Copper Mini Natrix. This one is patinaed pretty well. Um, this is a really cool knife. Uh, without doing a full review on this knife, um, it is D2 steel. Um, it is a really great action. Um, it'll shake shut. Um, my one problem with this guy is the uh, one, well, let's talk about this. Uh, you can kind of see it here. Uh, this little backspacer is plastic. They tried to make it look super cool with, I guess, the, the way it's milled a little bit or uh, formed. I don't know how they do it. But, I mean, come on. Uh, if, you, if that was steel, in my opinion, it would make it a lot better knife. Of course, it would probably be a little more expensive. Um, but super cool knife. Um, but for me, I had to learn how to open this because the detent... Right here, the, the, the lock bar, if you're holding that and you try to, in your finger, like right here, is sitting here, it is impossible to open. And with the jimping right here on the flipper tab, it is pretty rough on the fingers if you don't do that. Otherwise, it is great. Moving on, I kind of skipped over this guy. Okay, so many of you guys will not know, let's see if I can get that in the light, there you go, will not know what this is. Um, this is, let's see here if I can get it in the light real good. Y'all have to forgive me, this is my first video, so I'm learning. Um, this is a Klein Tools lockback pocket knife. I believe this is just under three inches. Um, and it's got this really awesome um, rosewood inlay here. These knives range from, I've seen them in some retailers for 30 bucks. I've seen them for like 70 or 80. Um, I carry this in my pocket all the time. It's also another little knife that doesn't scare people. It's one of those things about traditionals. Um, and I have from you a few more I'll show you. It doesn't scare people. So if you're a knife person and you want to have something that's not going to scare people, this is a really good option. Um, but I carry this because my dad carried this exact knife. He has several of them. He carried it every day for about 20 years. Uh, at his job, he worked for an oil and gas company, um, and then uh, he gave it to me, and so it's got some, some nostalgia to it, but I think it's actually a, it's a really good knife, and it's really slicey, it's a really, really great, uh, let's see here, next, okay, before I get into some of the cooler stuff, let's just get this tried and true Gerber paraframe out of the way, nothing I really say about that, solid knife. Um, especially good for entry if people are getting into pocket knives. <clears throat> Next. Okay. Blade excuse, exclusive. Um, this is the Boker Compact. Um, uh, it is an auto. It is also California legal. Um, it's got some really cool blue accents. I think this is aluminum backspacer. Could be wrong. Correct me if I am. Um, it's got a lanyard hold I'll probably I'll probably put one on there because it does need a little bit of extra of my I have medium sized hands my pinky doesn't quite get on there um but really cool little knife um the balance on it I really like um it and I say that because I have the next knife I'm going to show you is a Kershaw Launch 4 and that thing when it deploys is so fast this guy I'm not worried about it jumping out of my hand at all so it's, it deploys really well, and nice and easy. And it's also pretty cheap. I think it's uh, like $35, $40. Uh, next, Blade HQ exclusive. This is the um, Kershaw Launch 4 uh, in Desert Warrior. So they got like that copper coating with this OD green on the aluminum uh, frame here. I don't know what you call it, the scales, sorry. Um, really cool knife. It hits super hard. Uh, really cool knife. Let's see here. Of course, uh, oop, 
CRKT Pilar, Pilar, um, however you want to call it. It's one of my uh, more frequent users. I really love this knife. Um, the size, the finger choil, uh, just some jimping right here would have been great. I may use a file and do that myself. But I found myself, oh, excuse me, fail. There we go. I find myself using this a lot. One of my big users. Love that knife. <clears throat> Next, Openel number six. Uh, great beginner pocket knife. Uh, this one, <laughs> I, actu I actually sanded it down. I stained it with one of my own walnut stains. And I actually, I don't know if you can tell here, but I took my little Dremel and uh, kind of put a little groove in there so I can get a really good grip on it. Um, just kind of made it my own. Uh, next, CRKT Rip Snort. Rip Snort is a very budget friendly knife. It's kind of got a kukri style blade, like the huge recurve in it. Um, it's pretty classy with the looking with the, the black um, with that little steel insert, I believe. Um, really cool little knife. It's got a deep carry pocket clip as well. So that's a cool, different knife. Uh, let's see here. Next to my collection, of course, uh, CRKT M16. Great knife. Uh, so many different models of that. Uh, speaking of, this is technically, I think they call this one the M21. It's not an M16, even though it technically is. Um, it's designed by the same guy, Carson. Uh, but really cool knives um, next Gerber and I know some of you guys that maybe you're gonna watch this video um, this is the jukebox um, I am very well aware of uh, Gerber's reputation <laughs> in the knife world especially some of the people who are more into knives the knife snobs the knife nuts things like that I've I have one and I'm getting there now um, <laughs> But um, Gerber, at least now, is doing some pretty cool stuff, at least. I think this is a super cool knife, super cool design. Even though, you know, if I were to do a review on it, there are a lot of things I could say that I do not like about it. Very unique. You're not going to see uh, another knife out there at this price point, which is around, you know, $30, $40, depending on where you find it. Um, we're really not going to find another design like this anywhere. They're doing lots of cool stuff with their new line. I'm really excited to see what they do in the future. And then with knives, for instance, like the Gerber Fastball, I mean, that is a really good knife. Um, and if you watch any, like, big reviewers out there, um, they have lots of good things to say about it. Now, this one, MNP. I am definitely on board with everyone else when they say that uh, Smith & Wesson should stick to firearms. I, I, on the whole, agree pretty much with that. However, this is one of the first knife knives. I guess you could say tactical knives that I purchased. I, I was in college. This thing has gotten some heavy use. I don't even remember the model number. I know it has the magic opening. So it's got this little tab here at the top that serves as a flipper tab, even though it's not a flipper tab. It basically just um, initiates the assist. So it's almost like a switchblade. Anyways, you deploy it. It deploys nice and fast. Um, I actually really like this knife. Um, there's, you know, there's some things about it I don't like. I really don't like that little flipper tab thing. Um, <laughs> but um, I've had this knife for, gosh, man, uh, 10 years. Um, and it's still working. Um, it's, a, it's a decent blade. Um, now, let's see here. I guess I can go ahead and talk about this guy. New to the scene, rather, rather new. Um, this is the SOG uh, Terminus XR. Um, I'll be honest with you. I did not really like SOG knives. Um, I got this um, just taking a chance on them. Um, this is D2 steel. It's got a really deep pocket clip, uh, more than 
you know, more than, uh, more than deep, if you can see there. Um, but they have um, incorporated their version of the axis lock here. And so you can actually, you know, just, well, if I don't fail at it, you can flip it. You can use the thumb stud if you don't get in the way. There you go. Uh, and then if you're really good at it and you practice, you can just, there we go, got it that time. Okay. Um, that knife is really good as far as breaking down boxes. I use that all the time. Uh, next, uh, no, this is not a Hinderer Custom. I wish this is the Kershaw Decimus, which is based on the Hinderer Custom. This knife is like $30 as compared to like $400. So just a cool knife. To have it as a, a frame lock and it is assisted. Um, let's see here. Okay, very quickly, we can just talk about this guy. This is the, oh, I'm gonna do that again for y'all. That This is the Rat 2, it's not the D2. Aus 8, I know. Um, I also have here the Rat 1. Okay. This is probably my favorite knife for doing like everyday carry tasks. I don't like to carry this knife, but it's what I find myself using the most in my garage or in the house. Really, really awesome knife. Probably do a review on that at some point. Oh, next, really fun knife uh, coming from Blade HQ. It is a Boker Burnley collaboration. This is the this is the Kihon. Um, really, really cool knife. Um, also in the Desert Warrior exclusive pattern with Blade HQ, copper blade, uh, OD green scales. Freaking sweet. Uh, it also hits super hard. Um, really cool knife. And for under 50 bucks, I believe. Double check me on that. Um, next, Kershaw Blur. Um, as far as being a thumb studded, uh, Assisted knife, this would be my favorite one. Absolutely love this knife. I don't mind the small recurve in it. It's not, I don't find it to be that difficult to sharpen. Um, man, this knife does work. It is built like a rock. It is super solid. And you hear stories about this knife all the time. People really, really enjoy this knife. And if you haven't tried it out for a relatively decent price, I believe you can find this, you know, for $50, $60. Really, really great. Kershaw. They did great with the blur. Let's see here. <clears throat> Next, um, my only bench made. My only bench made. This was a gift from my father-in-law uh, last Christmas, actually. Uh, this is the Caspa. Um, and I don't know what they call this. This is a plastic um, scale here. Um, it does have a safety, but it is an automatic. Um, really good, really good solid knife. It's got S30V steel, really great steel. Um, doesn't have a great pocket clip. It has a not quite deep carry pocket clip, but it is a little loose. Like, look, you can see that. It's, uh, only qualm with it. Great knife. Oh, uh, let's see here. Go ahead and get this big guy out of the way. Ah, Gerber. Uh, I believe it's the strong arm, I think. Uh, Really, really great knife. You can see the stock on that guy. Very thick. Don't have the specifications for you. Uh, really great um, end on it there for glass breaking or really whatever you needed to. I have used this on camping on several occasions, um, as you can tell by the wear on the blade. Um, use it for batoning. I've used it to chop wood when I needed to, uh, when I didn't have any sort of hatchet. What's really cool about this guy is over here I have uh, the sheath and it is really cool because it can go in either way it's one of those sheaths that it's like both sides right you don't have to put it in exactly right also super cool is that if you can see here it's got a little sharpening and it's actually got a removable insert so you can actually change that out but you can just by pulling the knife through sharpen the blade now of course you would need a sort of file or something to get the serrations done but really really cool 
thinking there from, from Gerber. Really solid, uh, budget-friendly option there. Uh, continuing with, uh, let's see. Uh, getting, I guess we'll just finish out with fixed blades. How about that here? Um, Gerber Tri-Tip. I'll probably do a review on this guy here in a little bit. Um, it's just really cool. Uh, as far as it being functional, eh, uh, I don't know. It's got, it comes with this really cool, uh, little sheath that locks into place. Um, I've carried it, um, scout carry, um, not a huge fan of carrying it like that, um, uh, but I tried it out. Um, it's really more cool than anything else. It really needs a lanyard, um, but probably an incoming review on that guy. Let's see what else, as far as my EDC gear, we've got some more knives, we're not done yet. We'll talk about pens and some other stuff. This is a CRKT Minimalist. I absolutely love this guy. Um, just, uh, it's so small, you forget it's there. It's a great little fixed blade to carry. If you like fixed blades, super cheap, like 25 bucks. Um, the Gerber flat iron, um, also very cool. This knife is actually great. Um, for instance, if you go look at Nick, Nick Shabazz, his, his channel, he does a review on this. He actually likes this knife and there's some good reason for it. Um, it really does have good action. I know Gerber's quality control is not that great, but really great, um, knife, um, uh, really cool blade. Um, it's, it's relatively thin behind the edge, uh, so it really does cut well. Um, it's got a few design elements that are pretty cool, so really good knife there. I did some work on this one, so if you own this one and you're like, man, how do you flick that open? How is it falling shut? I did some work on this guy, uh, so it's a little bit better. It wasn't like that out of the box. Next for fun. Um, you can thank Zach um, from Blade HQ for this one. This is the benchmark <laughs> uh, para, uh, not para frame, the paratrooper. This is that uh, very interesting swing blade kind of thing. Uh, opens and closes like that. Very interesting, very cheap, but I'm a sucker for the interesting opening knives and things like that. So course it's in my collection never gets carried only for conversation and some of you are people you know knife people you only have knives that you you carry and use um some of you are like maybe like me that you know you purchase knives that just bring you joy and that's kind of my thing even though they may not be the greatest there there's something about them that's cool and i have a lot of knives like that um next this is the tie tac toe i believe um, no, Tie Tac 2. Um, this uh, CRKT knife is one of my favorite fidget knives. And it's because on this knife, it not only, check out that blade profile though, that is mean and nasty. Uh, really budget friendly knife, but it has the button lock. Okay, so not only do you flip this out, can you flip it out, but the button works somewhat like an access lock in the sense that you can just literally hold that button and you can flip it out if you want. Super cool. Next, the Spyderco Tenacious. One brand I really, really want more of. I want all of it. Um, uh, all of their stuff is just incredible. This is the Tenacious. Now, I messed around a little bit with this knife. Um, this one has... Uh, uh, special scales uh, on it. It's also I fooled around with the uh, some of the uh, the screws and the pivot uh, as well as the the clip. I don't know if you can tell with the lighting that I have, but it's heat colored. So I basically just heat colored that stuff. Uh, I think it turned out super freaking cool. But um, I definitely want more Spiderco stuff. But if you're looking for an entry into Spiderco. Um, I think the Tenacious is the best out of their like Chinese budget line. Um, really love that knife. Um, I really want a Yojimbo 2 and you know PM2, PM3, stuff like that. Love that stuff. Um, let's see here next. 
Boker Kalashnikov, another another Blade HQ exclusive with the red hardware, red blade, deep carry pocket clip. Boker Kalashnikov, Kalashnikov's probably the best auto for the money. Uh, great knife. CRKT Fossil. Some people don't like this knife because of the looks. I think it looks freaking cool. I actually wouldn't mind having the other version of the knife that has the little serrations and also the blacked out kind of blade and look to it. They have that little coating, the darker coating. Um, this is just hammered steel with a textured G10 handle. It really does look kind of fossil-like. It also is running on the IKBS uh, um, uh, ball bearing system. So its deployment is super stinking smooth. Um, it also can flick open with some practice. Really cool knife. This is actually one of my favorites, honestly, to carry. Um, I really do like this knife. I really do. It's got a good little finger choil here and almost this, the way the, the uh, flipper tab and the jimping, even though it's a little aggressive, really helps to give you a good grip on that knife. It's not going anywhere. All right, coming in on the home stretch here on knives. Um, the leak. Do I need to talk more about it? Probably not. Fresh shot leak. Speed safe assist. Ah, CRKT Jettison. This is a full size, not the small one. Really, really like this knife. Very simple, not flashy. Uh, it has a really cool Warncliffe um, harpoon style blade, however you want to classify that. Really cool knife. Uh, really cool knife. Um, also, I have this knife because of the interesting opening system. This is the CRKT Igniter. Um, it has a really cool opening. It is assisted. Uh, it's got some really aggressive uh, serrations there. It's got a coated blade. Um, but I don't even know if I can show you guys here. But if you, yeah, you can. You can see it right there. So this guy it has a kind of like a safety. You have to push the thumb stud in and then push out in order to deploy the blade. So it's, once with, with some practice, it's really cool. Cool safety, very different. Don't see it hardly at all on any knives. That's why I have it, really cool. Okay, I'm gonna save those three for last because those are some. Those are my favorites. We'll talk about those at the end. Oh yes, here we go. This guy. This is uh, the Artisan Cutlery Proponent. Probably the coolest knife I have gotten in 2019. It is hilarious. Also, my hand is getting tired holding it. It is almost one pound. It's, this is the copper version. This is an exclusive with Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Um, here, it is a beast. I mean, just give you some size comparison here. It is, a stinking beast. It is awesome. It is D2 steel. Um, it falls shut. Yeah. I mean, gotta have it. Super cool. Um, I honestly can't even remember the numbers on this one. This is that the Kershaw uh, Emerson collaboration. Um, Blade HQ had it on sale for $20 as a flash sale over Black Friday, I believe. Got it. It's great. It's got the wave on it. Okay, let's see here. Next. Ah, this is my Buck 110. My dad gave me this one. Great knife. Uh, really beautiful wood handle inlays with brass. This knife is... Great. I don't give it a lot of work, even though I know it's a working knife, um, because it's just special to me. Really great knife. Extremely sharp. Uh, next one. Super fun. This is my only OTF. This is the AKC F16. It is awesome. Uh, very cool. Uh, Italian uh, switchblade. Double action. Really cool. Also, probably one of the most budget-friendly offerings for an OTF, if you want them. Um, I'm here in Texas, so really, I mean, I can carry a sword if I want. Uh, 
But those of you guys who may watch this from other places um, and you're able to purchase a switchblade like this, um, a dagger blade uh, as well, uh, I believe this knife is $50, right? Really solid. Um, okay, let me get into my traditionals here and then we'll finish up. Um, so this was my grandfather's old timer. He carried this knife for years. I don't even, I haven't done probably the time uh, to figure out exactly what year this, this knife is, but it is a, a Schrade old timer. Um, it is very, very old. Um, probably from, you know, 40s, you know, uh, 50s. I don't know. I could be wrong, uh, but that's how old he was. Uh, God rest his soul. He's been dead a while. Uh, but really cool, really cool knife. Um, let's see here. This was my other grandfather's. Um, this is a K-Bar. This is a K-Bar. And I'm not going to open all this because it's really gunked up. But really cool. Uh, not going to restore that or anything. Just keep it as it is. This is my most recent addition when it comes to traditional folders. Um... This is the Boker Blade HQ exclusive. Um, this is the, um, I can't remember if it's a trapper. I think it's a trapper. Uh, but it has the aged beer uh, barrel oak scales. Um, and the, what makes it exclusive, of course, is this, which I am going to show you guys because it is wicked cool, is the acid washed blades. Um, super cool. Uh, awesome, awesome traditional knife there. Slip joint. Um, okay. I think I have two things left. Or, well, I've got a few more things left. Flashlight. This is the, um, ooh, SR1 baton. Um, this is the, uh, eternal one of the collection they did like a series with like you know summer winter fall um this is the the eternal one this is copper i have a huge um huge love for copper all things copper awesome awesome if you like lights i'll carry this really great i also carry a don't have it up here a mag light solitaire little bitty uses um triple a batteries really great I haven't really gotten into a lot of flashlights, but this guy, great. Um, pins. I primarily carry two pins. I haven't gotten into pins too much. I do carry a pin every day to work because I can't really carry a firearm or um, really a big knife. Uh, this is just simply, this is the 511 Tactical. Uh, they're one of their pins. It is very simple. It's very cheap, very cost efficient, and very useful. Um, I don't know anything about the refills on it, uh, but the way everything is is uh, milled out it is very comfortable in hand if you were to have to use it for puncturing or something. Um, it screws in, of course, so it's really solid. I also find myself carrying uh, the Zebra F701 a lot. I really like this pen. All steel construction. Um, really great. Very cheap, like $6. Um, let's see here. Oh, my wife uh, would kill me if I did not show this. She told me I had to feature this. Um, this was one of my Christmas presents from my wife this year. It is from a company I'd never heard of before. Um, but it is really cool. <laughs> it's got a neat little woolly mammoth on the case. This is from Santa Fe uh, Stoneworks. Okay, and so this little guy may not seem like it's that special, okay? It's still beautiful. But what makes this knife so special is this is Woolly Mammoth Molar, that insert. So it's 15,000 year old Woolly Mammoth Molar inserted in the handle. I can't even give you like a really good shot of it, but it is really beautiful, super cool. Um, 
I did some research on Santa Fe Stoneworks because um, I wanted to see how legit they were. And fortunately, my wife had done the research before she even bought this for me. She's a great knife wife. Um, but uh, they do all kinds of cool stuff with really exotic materials. Uh, they do lots of um, custom gem work. They even do you know inlays like that. They do dinosaur series. They got some really cool stuff. Um, they also do things with Kershaw knives and they bling them out in different ways. Go check them out. Really cool. Um, let's see here. Let me go over some other stuff. Um, my Ridge wallet. This was my uh, Christmas present uh, from my uh, in-laws. I actually love this thing. I've been a traditional wallet guy, you know, bifold, trifold, that kind of stuff. This is pretty awesome. Um, very easy to get your cards in and out of with this little, little thumb insert right here. You can see right there. You just really, man, push it, pull your cards out. Um, really great. Um, so it's got a money clip on the side. They have a bunch of different variations. They even have a Damascus um, little steel that you can get there. They have all kinds of stuff. Really recommend this. Uh, I think they run anywhere from like 60 to 70 bucks to 120 and up. Um, really, really cool uh, wallet, minimalist wallet there. Um, keys, my keys. Um, for my keys, I carry a key smart. I also use this little eight pound magnet uh, to throw that off. I don't do anything fancy with it. Uh, just holds my keys. Um, and got to show it off, but got my nice little Boker Kalashnikov magazine there, pry bar, and bottle opener. Really cool. All right. Let's see what else we got. Um, let me talk about my some of my favorite gear of this year really quick as we finish up. These guys. Let me get these out. Uh, before we talk about them, let me talk about the new I've been doing. So shout out to uh, Mighty Hanks. Um, for a lot of you, uh, depending on how old you are watching, um, hankies were something that my dad, my dad, he uh, <laughs> he would carry all the time. You know, just regular white, uh, and he would use them to wipe his glasses, to wipe his nose, to blow his nose. You know, <laughs> to do all these stuff. And I remember just thinking it was so tacky. And I was like, ugh, I'm never going to do that. It's disgusting. Now, I recently got into EDC in the EC world. Um, and so I made my first purchase with Mighty Hanks. Not only are they very affordable, um, man, they have so many designs. And whenever I actually got uh, <laughs> my package in the mail, I was blown away at the quality of these. And so... Um, I may have to do some sort of review on these as I get more because let me tell you, Mighty Hanks, you're gonna get more of my money. Um, but these things are incredible. Uh, the stitching is just great and it's unique on different styles uh, that they make. Um, the microfiber, if you wear glasses, I am a glasses wearer, yes. Um, you need to be carrying these. Um, they are incredible. They clean your glasses. If you're like me, that you've just been using your shirt sleeve or your shirt, uh, you know, Kleenexes to wipe your glasses, you need to get some Mighty Hanks in your pocket. I actually find myself, I carry these every single day and I use them multiple times a day. I find myself using these more than I do my knives or really anything else I carry. These things are incredible. So huge shout out to them. I love what they're doing. I'm going to pump them a lot in my channel probably. So you guys might get sick of hearing them. They're really awesome. So check them out. Um, also, whenever I ordered mine, these two designs that I ordered, I was a little slow on it. Um, and so I had, uh, they were sold out. But guys, man, they, they made it anyway. And I got it within, you know, a week and a half, two weeks, even though they were sold out of this design. Really, really great service. So these three knives, these three knives are my favorite knives. 
um, to carry in 2019. Uh, the first one, the one I carry the most, is the CRKT CEO. I really wish I would. I had to show you the Blade HQ exclusive, the one I think it has a stone wash finish on the blade. It's D2 steel. It's got brass hardware and it's got green micarta. It's sick. Um, if they ever drop it again, I will try to get my hands on one because this is a knife I carry the most. Um, this is not carbon fiber. It looks like carbon fiber. Um, it's got a cool texture to it, but this knife is also on the IKBS uh, ball bearing system. Once you learn how to flip this guy open, it is a breeze and the blade flies out. It's got a really sleek design. I really like it. Um, it has a deep carry pocket clip. And the main reason I love it so much, it is so, so small. Um, I forget I'm carrying it. Um, and at work, if I do carry this at work, um, no one's gonna know this is a knife. I could leave this sitting out on my desk and they'd probably look at it and think it was some sort of pen or something. It's not scary. Right now, of course, if you walk up to somebody, hey, you need a knife, you do that, you might scare them. Um, but that's why I have these smaller knives as well. But I find myself carrying this the most, especially to work, if I do carry it at work. Next, this is the Dagger Arrow in carbon fiber. These guys um, are relatively new, uh, at least I think to the EDC world, or at least over here in the States. Um, they make an incredible knife. I can't wait to see what else they're doing. They're coming out with some really cool designs right now if you follow them on uh, Instagram, but also really stinking cool details here. I don't know if you guys can even see that, but they anodized the screws into the pocket clip. They are blue. So it looks like little blue eyes coming out of that skull there. Super cool, super cool blade design as well. It really does look like an arrow. Uh, it's got a like kind of like a it also knows that shake shot right there uh, spidey flick guys so if you're a spidey flick person it's got the spidey hole for you um, really cool check them out they make really really cool stuff um, very um, very great last up on my favorite knives the Civivi Stratera this is carbon fiber it's got um, gold inlays on the liners, if you can see those. Um, it's got, oh yeah, big sucker for this. It's the only knife that I have that has one. It is a milled titanium pocket clip. Um, guys, uh, Civivi is um, the sub-brand of Wii knives. Of course, the Wii knives are incredible, um, but they're also, you know, very expensive, um, but this guy is the smoothest knife that I have ever operated. Um, it is incredible for the price, um, and I assume that this probably is true of probably all of the Civivi knives, but really great knife. It falls shut. Okay, um, let's see here. Are there any other things that I carry? <laughs> oh. Oh, you guys are gonna make fun of me for this. Yes, this is a brass uh, fidget spinner. So yeah, I'm a fidget with it. My life, my wife uh, doesn't really like me fidgeting with knives all that much since I have a 10 month old son. So whatever. Oh, let's see here. I guess last but not least, let me talk about what I usually carry. If I'm gonna carry a firearm, uh, this is what I carry. This is the six hour uh, the P938. Uh, um, this is the 9mm. Uh, <clears throat> it looks identical to the 38 version, but it is the 9 version. This is the Legion uh, series. That's why it's got that little, you know, the Spartan Legion sign there. Um, it is all steel construction. It comes with some, some special things. It's got some jimping right down here, or I guess you can call that, uh, what do they call that? Uh, I'm blanking on it right now, but stippling, there you go. We've got stippling on the back here. Um, really, really great texture there. <clears throat> you get these tritium night sights, day and night sights, excuse me. 
Um, really great carry. Really great carry. Um, it is a little heavy, but it is also very small. Like, for instance, right? I can carry this in my pocket if I want to. Now, next. I don't have a Kydex um, holster for that because I honestly don't feel like I need one. This is a very cheap and expensive leather holster uh, from from Allen. Um, it can go in the waistband. It can go out the waistband. Um, it literally just sits in here. Boom. That's it. I carry this anytime I possibly can. Um, I have other guns I'll talk about probably in other posts. But I think that wraps everything up. Again, if you guys have any questions about anything that I put on the table, anything you want me to do or maybe a review of in the future, maybe anything like that, um, maybe on, over on my Instagram channel as well, just let me know down in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my collection from 2019. I'm really looking forward to seeing some of the knives and things that come out in 2020 and adding to my collection um, and really just growing more in this community, guys. So anyways, happy new year. Um, you guys have a great, a great one tonight. See ya.